Hi, and welcome to this special broadcast directly from our studios at Cornerstone Baptist Church in Oviedo, Florida. My name is Edgar Nazario, and today I have a special treat for all the ladies who are listening. But before that, we want to invite you to our 2016 Women's Conference under the title Seeking the Glory of God with guest speakers Susan J. Heck and Martha Peace. Now stay tuned because at the end of the broadcast, we will let you know how to register for this conference. Uh, All the ladies who attend will definitely enjoy a time of fellowship, joyful worship, and biblical teaching. And speaking of biblical teaching, this year we have the blessing to have two very special women who are very well known for their biblical teaching and also their love for God's Word. And I'm speaking of uh, Miss Susan J. Heck and Martha Peace. Now today I have the opportunity uh, with us live on the phone to join us on conversation on the subjects and the sessions of our conference, Miss Susan J. Heck. Thanks, Susan, for joining us. Thank you, Edgar. It's a joy to be here again. Susan, thank you for joining us once again on this special broadcast. And again, we're very excited and thankful that you would take the time to talk to us uh, and that we could cover these very fascinating sessions that the ladies are going to look forward to hearing about. Now, last time we spoke about uh, the first session that you're going to be speaking about. It's Needless Worry, Needful Worship. And uh, what biblical worship is according to the Word of God, the role that it plays when we face difficult times in our walk with Christ. You also gave the women encouragement on how to biblically face worrying in the midst of trials. I'd like to start today's discussion by looking at another one of the sessions you'll be teaching. The title is, Do You Know Where Your Treasure Is? Uh, What is some of the content you will be covering uh, in this session? Uh, I love the question. Uh, And why is this topic so important for Christian women to hear today? Well, you know, Jesus says that we shouldn't lay up stuff here on earth where, you know, things can corrupt it, they can destroy it, thieves, you know, come break in my house and steal it. And and I really think when you consider that Americans alone spend more than one and a half trillion dollars every year on stuff that is not necessary, pleasure things, that is just mind-boggling to me. One and a half trillion dollars. We could take that money and start paying some of our national debt. And uh, on stuff that's not necessary. And, you know, I, I just got finished doing some spring cleaning and, you know, getting rid of stuff. And, and I don't collect stuff, but it's like, where does this stuff come from? And, uh, you know, when you think of our Lord and he himself was, you know, born in a, a, a borrowed, um, you know, manger, an inn there and, and buried in a borrowed tomb and sometimes didn't have a place to lay his head. And, you know, as he walked through earth, he, he didn't care about that kind of stuff. And we have just, we are so materialistic in America. And uh, we are like the church at Laodicea, you know, where we're, we think we need nothing because we're rich. We, and, you know, and, and yet John says, you're blind, miserable, wretched, and naked. And so uh, Jesus has a very telling passage there. And I'm going to give the ladies um, some tips on how to find out where their treasure is. And it's from the text but it's going to be in the acronym treasure. And um, so I, I'm hoping that um, we uh, that we will seriously evaluate this. I just actually gave this message to a group of Christian uh, women who are golfers here in my community here in Oklahoma, and uh, it was pretty quiet. <laughs> so, um, you know, but we do really need to evaluate, you know, are we spending stuff on our own pleasure when we could be helping a widow in need or or somebody who doesn't know how to pay, how they're going to pay their next you know water bill and we just have so much stuff and so um and i think the world creates that appetite for it you know you uh, on your phone you've got ads coming in all the time tv you know it's just the billboards the mall everywhere there's just you got to have this you got to have this well the fact of the matter is uh we have christ and he should be enough but i'm afraid for for uh, many of us, he's not. And so I really want the women to evaluate um, the things that they're, they're accumulating and ask the hard question, why? And uh, are they are they really laying up treasure in heaven? Is that really their priority as they go through the day? Susan, in over 37 years of ministry, uh, as a Christian woman yourself, what are the trending treasures that women are going after? Well, when I think about laying up treasure and accumulating stuff, um, 
You know, I, what I have seen is just wanting the latest fashions more than anything, whether it's jewelry, a purse, clothes, shoes. Uh, you know, here in Tulsa right now, there's a certain kind of bracelet that people will stand in line outside the door and down the drive for. And I'm like, that is, to me, that is the ultimate uh, materialistic person. I, I can't even understand that. But will we stand in line to... Uh, you know, hear a great preacher or to, you know, will we stand in line for an hour in order to meet someone to share the gospel, but we'll stand in line an hour to buy a bracelet that costs $50? That doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't compute to me as a Christian. But I would say that's a pitfall. And I would say this, Edgar, that, you know, things like Pinterest, Instagram, all that, they, for women especially, I think it just, uh, they think they have to have this is the latest this this is the latest recipe this is the latest home decor this is the and you got to have this if you're going to be in well i think the heart of a genuine believer doesn't really care about being trendy or in or their their heart beats after god and and so so timely is the title of the conference and so i'm not saying it's wrong to own things i have a home i have a car uh, you know, I have I have a bed. I have these things. It's not wrong for us to own things as long as they don't own us. And I do think that I see, uh, even in when I was in India uh, last year, uh, I, there was that that pull, uh, even in those women, for you know wanting this, wanting that. And um, so I, I I wrestle with that and the the wisdom of that as one of. God's children, especially um, a woman, and uh, just seeking after those things. And what kind of example are we setting for our children? And do they see us pursuing Christ or pursuing treasures here on earth, you know? So um, that is a trend I see. I would say it's, it's just the latest fashions is what I see more than anything. <laughs> I believe, Susan, this will be your 11th year speaking at our women's conference. Uh, and I know that the women have uh, been very excited and very blessed from different churches that have always joined us. But for those women who are listening right now and are considering attending, uh, what words of encouragement would you give them so that they would join us at the conference this year? Well, I just want to encourage them to come, uh, to make the sacrifices to come. I think this is going to be a golden opportunity, not just, uh, I can't say it just because I'm there, but for Martha and I to come together, I know they're planning some Q&A time uh, for us, and I think that's just going to be, um, you know, just a wonderful time together as she and I, um, as two older women, can hopefully help and instruct these ladies in some areas and and I'm just really looking forward to it. So I want to encourage them to come. Finally, Susan, if other churches would like to get more information on your teaching ministry, uh, where would be the best place for them to get that information? Uh, they can go to www.withthemaster.com or .org, either one. So withthemaster.org or .com. And uh, find out everything they want to know and probably a lot they don't want to know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Susan, for sharing with all the women listeners a little bit of the great teaching that is to come. And for all the women who are out there who are listening, let me encourage you to register today and don't risk being left out since we do have a limited amount of seating. Once again, come and join us in our 2016 Women's Conference under the title Seeking the Glory of God with guest speakers Susan J. Hack and Martha Pete. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Full worship and biblical teaching, so take advantage and register today online by visiting www.seekinghisglory.net. I'll repeat that again, www.seekinghisglory.net. Or if you have questions, feel free to give us a call here in our studios at 407-971-7685. 407-971-7685. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to seeing you at our 2016 Women's Conference. God bless you.